there's a really powerful feminine behavior that most modern women just don't have these days. And when we do have it, it's a behavior that will give you immediate, very high quality feedback as to whether the man that you're dating or interested in is going to be a good fit for you or be the right guy for you. This is extremely powerful and very important information because think of the time that it saves you. And this same behavior, when we have it within a relationship, is the behavior that will give you the experience of feeling truly, truly loved. And I mean the kind of loved where you feel like you're really seen for who you are and accepted and loved just for being who you are. That feeling that of love that's like a balm, like you found home, you found family. This is such an important behavior in school and I do teach it in depth in the love codes. And I wanted to share it with you today because it's something that we can start to really um, practice and embody straight away. You don't need many fancy or any fancy tools to be able to start to incorporate at least the beginning of this behavior. It's a behavior that's actually innate. So uh, the same as all of the tools that I've created, the way that I found them and created them is by observing, researching, and looking into the behaviors that are common amongst people who have really fantastic results in relationships. And when I found this particular behavior, it is an innate behavior in women who are, who have far less kind of um, relational wounds uh, than others and have a really great experience in relationship. And there actually isn't very many because you know, it's not your fault. It's no one's fault that uh, we have these relational wounds. I had so many, which is what uh, compelled me to do this work. And this particular behavior, feminine behavior, is what we call in the love codes, the gap. And it's something, like I said, that women just generally don't do. Let me explain it to you a little bit. The gap is the space between saying to your potential partner or your partner how you feel or what it is that you want, something that is of importance to you. The gap is the space between that and then them responding. Now, I want you to think about this for a second. Most of the time, when a woman expresses how she feels or what she wants to a man, it's very quickly followed up by something else. It's almost never that as a woman, we will say, I feel really sad about what happened the other day and then say nothing. It's very, it's not very often that as a woman, we would say, I feel like I really, I need to have more, I need to see you more often to feel really satisfied in the relationship and then say nothing. Think about it. How often would you do that? We just don't. And there's a good reason for that as well. I mean, we've been programmed and uh, by our society to be afraid of that gap, to be afraid of being vulnerable because we're putting our heart on the line, right? So what we generally do is we'll say, I feel sad about what happened the other day, or, you know, I, I feel like I need to see you more to feel really satisfied. And then we feel so scared of what's going to be said in response that we feel it. We say things like, you know, I'm really sad about what happened the other night because this is what happened and because you did A, B, C, D and because I did this and because I, I have a past that makes me feel this way or whatever it is, we, we justify it, we explain it, we fill that gap up. Now, the reason we do that psychologically is because we're trying to give him a reason to understand us. We're trying to give him a reason to agree with us. Ultimately, we're trying to justify our feeling or our need. And in doing that, we are hoping that his response will be what we want it to be. Oh, I'm so sorry. I understand. I see what you're saying. But that's not what happens. The other, the other thing that we could do is say, I feel really sad about what happened the other night. You know... It felt awful, but I know that you didn't mean anything by it. And I know that, you know, it was probably my stuff, not your stuff. Another way of filling the gap, another justification, 
another way of avoiding feeling vulnerable. But not only are we avoiding feeling vulnerable in that moment, we are avoiding receiving high quality information. So if you're single and you don't know, or if you're dating and you don't know if this is the right man for you, in that gap, when we actually leave it, yes, we remain vulnerable, but what we also are doing is we are creating a space for him to either step up and meet us or not. And yes, we're afraid that it will be the or not. And so we fill the gap. And in doing so, we are stringing ourselves along with a guy who may or may not be good for us. Now, when we do leave the gap, we get high quality information. There is a possibility that that information will be that he doesn't care or that he's not good enough for you or that he's not the right guy for you by him saying nothing. So we say, I feel really sad about what happened the other night. And his response might be one of our fears. Well, it's not my fault or um, nothing. That's one of my, my biggest fears is the nothing response. And that might happen. And if that happens, then guess what, beautiful, divine and worthy woman? You say, bye-bye, because he's just not going to step up and, and meet you. And you have saved yourself so much heartache, so much time. I mean, who's got time to be with a man for a month, six months, a year, before we finally will allow a gap and recognize that, well, he's not the guy for me. But more often than not, when we leave that gap, oh, the magic happens then. Because when you leave a gap, when you say, I feel sad, or I want to see you more, and you leave a gap, this is an opportunity for a man to step into his true power as a man and what he really wants to give you as a woman, which is to be your hero. It gives him an opportunity to step up and say, oh, honey, I'm so sorry you feel sad. It happens all the time. It happens to me in my relationship with my husband, and it happens to all the women that do my program and embody this gap. Any of them will tell you that this is one of the most powerful processes to learn in the Love Codes program. And I'm giving a little bit of it to you now so you can implement it now. And I wanna to mention too, if you're already in a relationship or once you're in that relationship with that perfect guy, this gap is the missing piece, ladies. This is the missing piece to finally feel really loved and seen and met. So what happens when you're in a relationship and you say to your guy, you know, uh, same thing. I feel sad about what happened the other night. And you leave it. He sees you. He sees the real you. When we fill the gap up, because this happened, or because that happened, or maybe you could do this differently, or maybe you could do that differently, or I know it's my fault, not your fault, then what we've done is we've given a little window into our beautiful, tender heart, and then covered it up with a whole bunch of stuff and direct his attention elsewhere. But when instead we say how we feel and we leave a gap, your man has an opportunity to see you and love you. And you know what happens? And I guarantee you this happens 99% of the time because men want to see your vulnerability. They want to see that inner treasure and they want to take care of it. I promise you that this is true. We don't see it all the time because you're not giving an opportunity for it most of the time. But when you do, when you say how you feel in a relationship and you leave that gap, your man has an opportunity to actually love you, to actually see that part of you, love it and respond to it. And more often than not, he will. It might not happen in that moment. It might not even happen. Sometimes it might take him a minute or an hour and geez, that's damn uncomfortable. Sometimes I'll say something to my husband and he'll kind of go, hmm, and then walk away. I now know that that's the gap. The gap can be long, but when I leave it, He's internally processing the way that the male psyche does. He's processing it. He hasn't just forgotten about it. He'll come back to me. Often it won't be until dinner time or after dinner when our child's asleep. And he'll say, I really thought about what you said and, and I'm sorry that you felt that way. And, you know, I'd really like to do it differently next time. It's absolute gold and I feel so loved. But what it, the cost is leaving the gap and that is an innate feminine behavior when it comes to relationship we need to bring that back bring back the gap in your relationship or in your dating and you will see dramatic shifts immediately and more importantly you'll feel them you'll start to know if he's the right guy for you you will stop wasting time and those of you who are in relationship you start to feel finally feel loved and your men love it too because they get to finally be the man that they want to be for you so this is one of the one of those tools that I teach and I just wanted to share it with you today because I want you to get results now. Start getting those results now.
tell me how you go too. Send me emails or DMs. I want to hear how the gap works for you in your life.